What if I told you what you do to stay healthy is all wrong? What if the idea of how often you eat is more important than how much you are eating? In the next few minutes, this short video will lay out a transformational strategy regarding nutrition and how our bodies self-repair and why fasting matters. With skyrocketing cases nationwide of heart disease, obesity, and diabetes, the nutritional choices we make can easily cause or can just as easily prevent these things from ever happening. Hello and welcome. Today we'll look at the changes that happen to your body when you fast for 72 hours. Right now, just take just a few seconds to like, comment and subscribe and tap that little notification bell so you know every time we upload one of these raw living food health videos. It's free and it helps this channel. Thank you. Okay, so now let's talk about fasting. First understand that there are several different kinds of fasts. There is intermittent fasting where you will routinely go 18 hours, for example, without eating and then eat only during a short six hour period each day. There is dry fasting where you may go 48 hours with no food and no water. This is sometimes used to stimulate and restore function to the kidneys. Then there is extended juice fasting or feasting, where you typically consume only large amounts of freshly juiced fruits and vegetables for a week or 10 days or longer. And there is the traditional water fast, which is what we are discussing here. A 72-hour fast is a period when you abstain from all food and caloric intake for three consecutive days. During this time, the body goes through several stages of adaptation so it can better cope with the absence of food. There are several unique things that happen during the fasting process. When done correctly, it is genuinely one of the best things you can do for your health. A key indication that the fast is working is that appetite and hunger cravings go away. This is a key part of the process, making it easier to stay on the fast. The object should not be to lose weight, although weight loss will happen. The goal is to enjoy the many health benefits of fasting while naturally losing weight in the process. One of the first things that happens, usually around the 12-hour mark, is a spike in the production of growth hormone. This hormone is crucial for cellular repair. It is produced over the course of the fast. Exercise has a similar effect. Interestingly, fasting increases the production of stem cells. These cells are critical for the development and maintenance of the human body at the molecular level and are regenerative in nature. They are tasked with repairing or replacing damaged or diseased cells and tissue. They work by secreting growth factors and cytokines that stimulate the growth of new blood vessels and tissues. They also reduce inflammation and promote the healthy migration and proliferation of other cells throughout the body. Approaching 24 hours into the fast, the body begins utilizing stored glycogen, which is a supply of glucose that is necessary for energy. As glycogen stores deplete, the body shifts to using stored fats as an energy source, through a process called ketosis. Ketones, which are a byproduct of the breakdown of fats, now become the primary source of energy for the body and brain. These ketones help to further suppress hunger. They also increase the production of antioxidants and raise blood oxygen levels. In addition, the formation of unique oxidants helps to eliminate internally everything from fungus to mold, yeast, and other unfriendly microbes. This is also the stage where damaged proteins are recycled. This is a renewing and cleaning process and is one of the best things about fasting. During these first 24 hours, there is a clear decrease in inflammation. Many arthritics experience noticeable improvements in range of motion, along with reduced pain as arthritic inflammation subsides during the fast. Gut stem cell production increases, triggering improved gut healing, while cardiovascular and brain function improve. Around the 48-hour mark, the body's insulin levels drop, leading to further growth hormone production, which promotes added cellular repair and regeneration. Autophagy, the cellular cleaning process where the body breaks down and recycles damaged cells, goes into a higher level of overdrive at this stage. Fast-induced stimulation of a more than usual number of stem cells is extremely beneficial to human health. Stem cells are truly remarkable. They are undifferentiated cells that morph and provide unique cellular repair needed throughout the body. 
This equates to robust, targeted healing, tissue repair, and anti-aging actions. At the 72-hour mark, well into the fast, the body experiences several added benefits, including improved insulin sensitivity, even more fat burning, further reductions in inflammation, and next-level stem cell-driven tissue rejuvenation. Improved resistance to stress happens throughout the fast and becomes more beneficial at this key 72-hour mark. One caution is that it is vital to break a fast gradually. When reintroducing to solid food, it's best to opt for small, easily digestible hydrating meals. This will prevent any potential digestive discomfort or complications. That said, the longer the fast, the more cautious the fast breaking should be so you do not injure yourself. It's important to note that fasting can have varying effects on different people, and so it should be approached with caution, especially for those with certain pre-existing health conditions or who are pregnant, breastfeeding, or taking medications. Consult with your doctor or naturopath before embarking on a fast. Fasting is a powerful modality that improves health, promotes healing, and even increases self-confidence. It improves mental clarity and creativity and results in a more youthful appearance. Giving the digestive system a break on occasion, by how often you eat or through fasting, produces a healing strategy that just may end up correcting chronic health problems that have been persisting for many years. Here are a few additional bonus benefits of fasting also worth mentioning. Number one, fasting is an excellent detoxifier. The liver is the primary and most important detoxifying organ of the body, and a three-day water fast can give it a needed pause from processing toxins, allowing it to regenerate. This is yet another case where the fascinating stem cell comes to the rescue. Number two, there is a measurable improvement in immune function. Resting the digestive system has been shown to stimulate the immune system and increase the production of white blood cells, which helps the body fight off infections and disease. Number three, expect improved digestive function. A water fast gives the digestive system some time off and allows it to heal. Many people report welcomed improvements with chronic digestive symptoms, such as less bloating, ending constipation, and no more diarrhea after a fast. Occasional fasting is a free and a smart way to manage health going forward. In short, staying healthy is not about how many expensive supplements you take, but about giving the body time to repair and regenerate through restricted caloric intake, fasting, and eating fresh, ripe, nutritionally complete, uncooked, living whole foods. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to help this informative nutritional channel, you can like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and share on your favorite social media platform. See you again next time!